Here we go, 13,668. Cup, 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 cup. Oh my god, that's going to be tough to open. I'm glad they put that there, though. But that is damn tough to open. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Okay. okay so that way there. There you go. <laughs> that had all flyers. That's funny. Well, they're hand-packed, so mistakes can happen and things like that could happen. Um, that is honestly kind of funny. All flyers packed. I hope they're like it's all good flyers or some good flyers in there, but you gotta remember these are hand packs, so there's gonna be errors. There's gonna be fun things that happen. The only thing I said, I think the these these cardboard things were a little weaker this year, but that's okay. Yep, Aaron. That's the thing is people have to realize this. This is just, wow, it just flew, and thank God it flew over the cards. <laughs> That was a fun one. We've got a 249 Bennington for the Blues. 93 SP retail. Jesus. That's a lot of money. I don't know baseball that way uh, that much, Greg, so I apologize. Maybe someone else can help with the baseball. For the wild, 249 Nico Sturm. I honestly, Greg, I would say in this environment, grab whatever you possibly can grab. It's only going to go up in this environment. But I cannot guarantee you in a year from now. That's an, oh man, that's a nice start. Numbered 33 of 36 Splendor Pad Auto Patrick. Wow! Jersey numbered Splendor Pad Auto Patrick Wah. Well, I like that on the first pack. <laughs> Colorado, congrats. For the Boston Bruins, gold rookie auto to 36, Trent Frederick. Trent Frederick. For the Dallas Stars, number 50, exquisite endorsement relics, John Klingberg. The funny thing is I see that all the time, Arvell, again. I feel bad for Upper Deck every single time they release images of high-end products. And a 101 printing plate rookie of Brandstrom for the Sens. Everyone always says it's not going to sell, and then it sells out very quickly. At the end of the day, high-end almost always... I have seen some absolutely junky stuff that Panini's released. That was high-end, but it gets eaten up. People like to gamble. People like to have fun. And cards, for at least the 20-odd years I've been collecting, have always been fun. Even if it is the worst product on the market, it's probably still fun to open. We're not even close. I don't think we're close to the peak yet. The thing is all the investors right now are buying everything up. And then the problem is all the late investors who are going to be hunting all the cards that are now uh, um, rare to find, they're going to pay a lot more money for them. So we got a lot of movement to go in cards. We've got a 249 for the Canucks Bo Horvat. But if this legitimately, if, if the Hughes brothers... And Makar starts selling for four or five thousand for the 99s. That's great for this product. I almost thought I had one there. 249 for the Devils, Nikita Gusev. Beautiful RPA. Gusev. We've got number to 65. Honorable numbers, dual patch auto. Ilya Makayev. Ilya Makayev. Beautiful Maple Leafs. Oh, sick. 
color-coded to 99 for the Hawks, Kirby Doc. Well, I guess that's what the color-coded look like this year. Kirby Doc. Those are what these look like. Cool. Inked insignias. I actually like the style. I don't know why people were ragging on this one. Number to 75 for the Sharks of uh, Blischfeld. I actually don't mind this as an alternative. It's, it's a funky looking card. Inked insignias. To 75. And we've got a one one printing plate auto of Noah Gregor for the Sharks. The corners and edges, honestly, they look exactly like normal cup cards. Um, the average cup card is about an 8.5 or a 9 that we found. So, it legitimately, if you guys get a 9.5, that's why when I see PSA 10s of this, honestly, I feel like it's kind of a joke, but... Is there a plate in every box? Nope. No, it seems like they're almost one in every two on average. But again, that's a very, very, very thin average right now for us. These things also seem like they're they're coming up quite a bit. The uh, plate booklets. Can't believe how many of those we've opened up. That's why it blows my mind. I know it's another conversation. It blows my mind how many t people pay a lot of money for PSA 10s. I feel like... There shouldn't be that many 10s in this world. 249, Bennington for the Blues. But to each their own. For the Sens, 249, Ricky Patch Auto, Brandstrom. And again, if any of you guys want to get this graded by MNT, um, they'll be the fastest turnaround to get the high-end stuff, so you guys could do significantly better for this. Signature patches to 99 for the Habs of Kot Ken Yemi. 99 sig patches. Brilliant auto Keith Yandel. Brilliance. And we got number to 249, McDavid. Uh right, well, the turnaround that we do, so we ship on Fridays that uh, generally without uh any interruptions. Hold on a second. We've got for the Panthers Trocheck booklet plate one of one. So it's six business days, Kevin, for our grading uh, special. And right now they're only delayed about a week on that. So you're still getting cup stuff back within less than a month, which is way faster than anyone else. So, if any of you guys have any 249 RPAs, I do recommend that. And again, it's going to be significantly faster and significantly cheaper. And Billy, what's up, good sir? Billy, case number one was a beast, by the way. Just going to let you know. Yep, that's what I'm saying. If, like, whoever had that Kubalik, for example, in the first, I highly recommend getting that one graded because you'll be the first graded Kubalik on the market. And as you guys can see with Lafreniere's right now, it was nice to be able to sell them in the beginning when he actually had a lot of momentum. Right now, <laughs> right now he's not so hot, sadly. I hope he, uh, I hope he gets a little better. We got a long time, so no rush for him. We've got a Stamkos 249 base card. Still rocking him and Tia. Oh, MMT's been doing crazy good fireside. Crazy good. We've got for the Sharks number 249, Lean Bergman. Lean Bergman. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty looking card. Number seven of 12. Pro Gear, Daniel Sedin. Greg, you can ask anyone any question. Whether they answer you is a different question, another, uh, another question in itself, but absolutely. Seven of 12. That's beautiful. I love that. That one I'm going to take a picture of. Brilliance autograph. Cam Neely. Cam Neely. Holy Jesus. Pack of awesomeness. A rookie foundations. Quad jersey auto. Cam. McCarr. How is that in the same pack as a Sedin out of 12? Seriously. McCarr out of 15. Holy jeez. Wow. And for the Red Wings, Herosi draft class. This stuff's ridiculously good, though. Yeah, that was high stick. Sorry, Jumbo Joe, that was high. <laughs> A little wee bit high. 249, Patterson for the Canucks. Uh, probably about a, maybe a year ago. I honestly don't remember too much. Probably a year ago, I'd say. 249 for the Red Wings. Taro Herosi. We've got for the Flyers. We're getting the whole print run of this bad boy tonight. J V R. J V R. Oh my God! This guy again. Number to twenty-five. Enshrinement's auto. Connor McDavid. All right, well. Do I know the status? No, I only, so I obviously help pull them. And then Dan does a shipping out and Dan does a receiving in and Anna calls. So. McDavid again. For the Montreal Canadiens of 49, Foundations of Carey Price. He's an okay player. Yeah. Carey Price. And we've got a paling to 249 for the Habs. Holy jeez, this stuff. So, two cases, two McDavid's. I hope we go, what, like, what, five, five, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, hit. The other debate I would love to have with you guys, I'd love, honestly, like, why does everyone get so upset with manufactured patches when they actually sell very, very well? And I remember back in the day in Black Diamond, people complained about manufactured patches. And I remember pointing out that a team logo jumbo of Gretzky outsold, outsold, the out of 25 jersey card of Gretzky from the same product in the same year. But why do people get so mad about them when they actually sell better? You think they're just cheesy? That's fair. If you don't like the look of it, that's fair. 
249, Pekka Rene. Pekka Rene, Nashville. For the Maple Leafs, Adam Brooks. Actually, Billy, just a random question. I I'm kind of curious if you're able to answer it. Why is the sum serial numbering there, some up here, and then some up there? Is there an honest answer you guys you could give me on that? Just kind of curiosity. Number to 99, signature patches, Victor Olafson. I agree it's not actually game used, but if the card's not supposed to, like, what does it matter if it's not supposed to be game used? That's what I'm saying. Speaking of the devil, inked insignias, number to 25 of Tara Vinen. So, like, if this was a base autograph, what's the difference if they add a cool little patch on it? Like, I'll be honest, if this card was just autograph number 25, I don't know. We've got a 249 Dmitry Timoshov. Timoshov. And we've got a one of one rookie printing plate auto, Dominic Kubalik for the Hawks. Kubalik. Cool. Wow.